recently with um, some health issues that I'm addressing, see the previous video, um, I was kind of down for a little while, so uh, I was able, I, I didn't want to watch a lot of television, I, I try to squeeze in the stuff that I like, but you know when you're sitting there and you basically can't do a whole lot, I, uh, uh, I have Netflix and uh, Prime, uh, Amazon Prime Video, and uh, that's all I've got, that's all I'll probably ever have, I think. Um, but so I was perusing through there and this new thing had come out it's been out for two or three weeks but I had to comment on it now um, it's called Love, Death and Robots and <clears throat> it's what they call an anthology series it's uh, a bunch of different stories um, not related I guess they can do whatever they want they can make some of them related to each other in the future but I think it was about 13 episodes or something like that. Um, you know how Netflix does, they release it all at once. Sometimes I like that, sometimes I don't. So anyway, um, it's an adult animated series. It's um, mostly CGI. Some of the CGI on Love, Death, and Robots is... Well, it's... I don't want to say movie quality because Netflix is its own animal. Uh, they make movies and they make series, like TV series type uh, content. So uh, I would say, uh, instead of movie quality, I would just say high or ultra high quality. There's some, there's two or three segments or episodes that the CGI, I mean, it's it was great. It was great. Uh, I was really impressed. Then there's a few uh, episodes or segments that are just animated like a cartoon, um, but the animation was good. Uh, it was uh, some of the animation was you could tell that it was hand drawn. Some of the animation you can tell that it's uh, computer aided, but there wasn't an episode that I didn't like. And, you know, that's saying something. Uh, even the worst one was good. So, uh, I really I really enjoyed it. Uh, I highly recommend it. And here's the thing that it reminded me of. Heavy Metal Magazine. I, I don't know... If you're close to my age, you've probably heard of it. Um, it's a magazine. This is the special issue. I don't have a lot of them left. They've got lost and destroyed. But it is an anthology series, uh, anthology book. It's got different stories. There's some black and white, uh, different artists. Some of it's in black and white. A lot of it's in color. I'm sorry. I need to show that a little bit, bit closer. Uh, different artists, different stories. Uh, look at that picture. Um, this uh, particular copy is dated, I'm sorry, sorry to hold that up in front of you like that. This is not, 1994. This is a 1994. Now, Heavy Metal had a, uh, is a magazine that's been out since, I think, the 70s, and um, I think it got canceled for a while, but then uh, Mr. Eastman of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fame started, I think he bought it or he started printing it. Um, anyway, he took over and he, he took over until the mid 2000s, or no, the late 2000s, I think it was. It was just a few years ago, somebody else has bought it. It's still in print, even though I think there are gaps. Um, it used to be monthly, if I remember, when I was young, and then um, uh, I was reading it when I was too young because this is an, this is an adult magazine. I'll check out the uh, back cover. Do you recognize that that character? Um, I'll get to that in just a moment, but um, it's still around now. It's a quarterly. It's it's four times a year, kind of like Mother Earth. Or, Mother Earth News is, at least, unless they've changed it while well, I'm making this video. So, 
um, it was so popular in the 70s and early 80s, they made a movie called Heavy Metal, which is a cult classic. Uh, I could do a, a um, video on that alone. It's, um, it's one of my favorite movies. It's a cartoon, of course. Um, the that last it was an anthology. The movie was several different stories, but they had taken uh, an element and connected them all um, for the viewer's sake, for people that didn't know about heavy metal. Anyway, um, the last segment was called Tarna, and Tarna, um, she, uh, the uh, they actually what they did is they they took a model. Uh, a beautiful lady and they they actually used her as a model for the last so the the last segment is lifelike and it's got more frames per minute um, but the whole movie is good I enjoyed it it's adult just like uh, love death and robots there are sexual situations there's nudity nudity there is um, violence and gore um, not so much that I'm turned off because I don't need a lot of gore I don't need a lot of a gratuitous sex either uh, for me to like something. It, it, some people are fans of that stuff. Uh, I'm not necessarily a fan. If it's too much, it's it, I'm turned off. I, I, I don't really get into zombie movies for that reason. I, I don't need the gratuitous gore. So, um, then they made here, uh, I don't know, it was around the turn of the century. Uh, 2000 they made a, another heavy metal movie it was called Fak 2 F A K K 2 they actually made an action figure it's uh, based on a uh, model uh, her name is Julie Strain she was really popular back then um, that movie wasn't too good in fact I don't remember much about it um, but the first movie was I, I, I love it. it I still do I, I don't have a copy of it anymore but you can rent it on Netflix or Amazon Prime one of the two um, highly enjoyable and that's what love death and robots remind me of is heavy metal heavy metal it's basically to me heavy metal put onto digital people say film all the time but you know a lot of stuff isn't film anymore it's all digital so I would say instead of saying uh, video footage I would like to say um, digital video so um, I like this. Uh, you know, Love, Death, and Robots has got me thinking about heavy metal, which, you know, I, I did a little bit of research, uh, and it's still out there, and you can still buy back copies, and um, I'm going to try to find some back issues, some affordable back issues, because the art was one of the draws. The story, uh, you know, is... Uh, the story in heavy metal would continue on to the next issue. You, you know, you'd have several different stories in one issue, but they would continue on to, would be de con to be continued in the next issue. Not all of them, but I think some of them were just self-contained ones of those stories. And hopefully that's what Love, Death, and Robots will be, because they uh, all ended where, I mean, it's science fiction, you, you could have another episode of that particular segment. You could have sequels. So I hope they do. I mean, I love uh, Love, Death, and Robots. I, I highly recommend it. Um, I hope they make some more. I mean, I'm as excited as this, almost as excited as I am for The Expanse. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing. We will see you next video.